I mean, you you probably all know that Vipassana is maybe the most historical um, meditation method. You know, it's like the classical way to meditate. Um, I mean, Osho invented kind of modern style meditations, but Vipassana is basically just to sit. And of course, if you are young and can do yoga, you can sit with your legs behind your ears and uh, you can sit with a very straight back and then the energy can move up through the spine very easily. So this is kind of classical posture. But of course, you can just sit in a chair. It doesn't have to be uh, a yoga posture. And then you, you simply look. You simply look inside, yeah? like we've just done. And very often, when you haven't really done much meditation and you have a lot of thoughts, then uh, you might be given the advice to focus on your breathing. So you can focus on your breathing by being aware of the movement of your stomach. Because as you breathe in, the stomach goes out slightly. And as you breathe out, it goes in again. So you can be aware of the movement of your stomach. Or you can be aware of the of the air passing through your, your nostrils. So there's two ways, two places to focus then for the breathing. And one method is to watch your breath. You watch the breath. And as you watch the breath, the thoughts come and maybe one of them is very, very interesting. And so you start to follow that thought and very quickly you can't, you have no awareness anymore of the, of the breathing. Yeah? So then maybe there's a, there's a sound or something and you kind of come back and you leave that exciting thoughts, the, the exciting movie that you were coming into from the thoughts, you just leave it and you come back to the breathing. So this is one way that you could start tonight if you've got a lot of thoughts. But I would like to suggest another focus and that's to focus on your true nature. So your true nature is the place where there are no thoughts and no emotions. And it's like a space. It's a kind of space inside which has uh, an infinite, it's an infinite space. It has an infinite space. And it might be black. It might be very dark, but not dark in, you know, I'm afraid of the dark, not that kind of dark. It's like, a kind of shiny darkness. So it's like a, a darkness with, with apparently some light. But it's not, you know, it's not exactly like the light. It's sort of like a shiny, shiny blackness, maybe something like a shiny blackness. It doesn't have to be a shiny blackness. Maybe it will be something else. But it won't be a, a glass pyramid. That will be your thoughts. <laughs> you know, some people see purple, some things in the, you know, and that's also going to be your mind. So if you really come to your essence, it's an emptiness. It's a kind of nothingness. But it's not, when I say nothingness or emptiness, you immediately go, well, that doesn't sound very nice. You know, I'd rather have ice cream or something. But it's not that kind of nothing. It's a very, very nurturing and beautiful nothing. So you, you, when you would come to that, you would feel very, very good. In fact, you'd feel so good that you wouldn't want to, um, all your desires would leave you. If you have any desires around, they would just disappear because you're so content to be there in this emptiness. It's so touching that you wouldn't want to change anything. And you'd just be quite happy to stay there. And I hope many of you will, over the weekend, you'll come to some moment when that will happen for you and maybe it won't go on because maybe you've got old thoughts or something that will come back in but um, and anyway for some time I think almost everybody will come to a moment where you experience this emptiness and this is uh, very profound and beautiful and I would suggest that's the best place to focus I mean, you can start with your breathing, but uh, you know, as you go more and more, get more and more quiet, I would suggest you come to this place and simply use that as the focus. 
And when you lose touch to it, you come back to it. Okay, it will depend on your, um, whether you've done enough meditation before, whether this is going to work for you. It's kind of like for the advanced meditators, let's say. And if you're not so advanced, then um, you can use the breathing. Or you can just sit and watch whatever is happening. You know, you can say to yourself, oh, a lot of thoughts, or I've got a pain in my knee, or uh, I wish that woman sitting on, lying on the third island, I oh, she's really beautiful, I hope to meet her later, or something. You know, well, all this stuff will come up, you see, all, all kind of movies. And... Um, you just watch, you watch. So the trick is not to come into judgments about what you're observing. So it's, it's, a, it's a very cool kind of watching. Yeah? So you don't, you, don't, you don't get yourself into judgments about what thoughts are coming or what feelings are coming. Just completely accept whatever is there. That's very, very important, because if you try to change it, then you get into struggles. You, you start struggling with yourself, in fact. So you just complete acceptance, complete acceptance. And you'll notice that when you completely accept whatever is there, that it changes anyway. So you might have, I don't know, some sad feelings about something, so there's some sadness, you just focus on the sadness, you accept the sadness, and the th next thing you notice is that it's changed and some other emotion is there. And the whole movement of sitting is that you come to this essence, that this essence which is your true nature. So that happens by itself. It just happens by itself. It's like falling deep into the ocean. You fall deep into the ocean. <laughs> 